My name is David Bullison. I work at Cranky Pants Games. I'm the general manager and executive producer of Destroy Humans 3. Our goal with Destroy Humans 3 was to redefine the brand's irreverent sci-fi action humor. So what we really want to deliver the player is an over-the-top, immersive world. And so the next generation hardware really allows us to have hundreds of people on the screen at a time, really delivering that uh, 1970s funked out epic movie destruction. We have uh, just a number of new weapons and a new abilities that we're delivering in Destroy Humans 3 that really haven't been seen before. We're introducing a black hole gun, which basically, once launched, sucks everything around it into this black hole vortex. Trucks, cars, people, of course, trees, anything that's in the world that's not attached. The giant Venus human trap is a little play on the 70s where when launched it reaches its tentacles out and pulls people in and then at the end it burps out the human brain stems. We've added some new power and strength to the old weapons. The disintegrate array, the zapomatic, the anal probe with all new effects and some new abilities that you haven't seen yet. We're bringing back Transmorgify, Hypnotize, Brain Scan, and the ability to upgrade these weapons. But we've also given the player the ability to combine these weapons with other abilities in the game. One weapon I'm really excited about is the Temporal Fist. Uh, this mental ability lets the player stop time, set up a chain of events, start time up again, and just see what happens. Temporal Fist is really complementary to what makes Destroy Humans great, and that's the hilarious manipulation of humans. It's also adding um, the creative element for the player. So we have people here in the office, everybody plays with it a little bit differently. So some people, they created what they called PK Surf. So they use their PK weapon, launching a car, they stand on top of the car and hit start, and they're basically surfing a car throughout the level. It's an absolute riot. We've also really blown up what we're calling high fidelity destruction. So really giving the player these epic moments of destruction throughout the game. Whether it's creating mass panic in the streets, combining jetpack, weapons, and mental abilities, or exploring five different open world environments. We've built these elaborate and giant worlds, um, five unique worlds that we really want the player to explore. We start off in Paradiso, which is basically a, a montage to Las Vegas in the 70s. All the lights, the sounds, um, we thought really complimented crypto. If you remember the, the high heels in the discotheque, the really big hair, the bell-bottom pants. The next level we move on to Shenlong, which is kind of a Hong Kong style level, um, where crypto meets the Kung Fu master. You have lost your way, crypto. You must follow the path of enlightenment. Come to Shenlong. We then transition into Hollywood, where Crypto has to basically take on a director, followed up by Paris, which is called Belleville in our game, which has an Eiffel Tower that ends up getting destroyed. And the final level is uh, Crypto's home planet. As players progress through the game, they'll be collecting DNA and finishing different story objectives. But once they meet the Kung Fu Master... The power is inside you, Crypto. He teaches them about the path of enlightenment. Basically, the path of enlightenment is taking advantage of Crypto's inner mental strengths. Crypto needs to reach four different levels of enlightenment in the game. The final enlightenment, the pure Furon enlightenment, Crypto's going to need in order to get to the conspiracy that's kind of driving and haunting him throughout the game. We also have some of the side missions, which can be who can destruct the most amount of buildings, who can abduct the most amount of people, that give the player additional points that we're planning to really tie in to some of the openness of the next-gen hardware, either through downloading of additional content or just uh, bragging rights with their friends. We want players to feel like they're at the center of a science fiction action film, that they control the ultimate destroyer of humans' experience. Now that's what I call a dis